There are measures uh, announced uh, to help cushion uh, increasing uh, cost of living and also increase wages of the low wage workers. That said, uh, we are actually concerned about the middle income uh, uh, workers between the 20th to the 50th percentile. Uh, what more can we do to ensure these workers' wages can be boosted sustainably in the next coming years? Well, thanks Raymond for the question. And in fact, the concerns that Diana that you showed just now reflect concerns that the Finance Ministry had picked up before the budget and also after the budget. Uh, we understand that the concerns that Singaporeans have about the cost of living. And I want to assure everyone that we will continue to do our utmost to help Singaporeans cope with these concerns. In fact, it is precisely because of these concerns that I decided, despite our very pressing and urgent revenue needs, to delay and to stagger the GST over two years. On top of that, we are providing Singaporeans with a significant package to cope with the cost of living concerns. That includes a household support package, which extends even to the middle income groups, as well as enhancing the assurance package to delay the impact of GST. And the benefits of the assurance package goes beyond the lower income groups. It extends to the 20th to 50th percentile, as Raymond highlighted. But as Raymond said, ultimately, it's also about not just looking at costs, it's also about wage increases and ensuring that wages continue to rise beyond inflation. And to do that, we need to start investing in new capabilities and keep the economy going. That's why the budget doesn't just deal with immediate concerns. It also sets out several major, big major moves, bold moves, to better prepare Singapore for a new post-pandemic future. So the middle income are very concerned. If we should find that they are hit probably more than anticipated, is the government prepared to do more? Certainly. I mean, the outlook we have projected for the economy and of inflation is obviously based on certain assumptions. But who knows what will happen in the external environment? There are downside risks, which we continue to monitor closely. And if the situation were to worsen, the government will certainly respond. And there are different ways we can respond. For example, if inflation were to become more persistent or turns out higher than expected, we can take actions on the monetary front to tackle inflation. But we can also provide more help to Singaporeans to cope with rising prices. All right. Uh, Steve, let's go over to you for the next question. Yeah, yeah, Minister, I mean, besides that, I think many of our young people also have other concerns. Uh, Melissa here is a research fellow at the Institute of Energy Studies and also a council member of the National Youth Council. Melissa, you have a question? Yes, hi, Minister. Hi. With rising electricity bills and prices, with inflation, as you mentioned, and also possibly the uh, carbon tax pass-through, many young families are very concerned uh, about this, this uh, additional stress and additional uh, cost to them, uh, especially those that have elderly parents and young children. What more can the government do to help this middle-income group of young families? Yes, thanks, Melissa, for that. As I mentioned just now, we are already doing everything we can, putting in place comprehensive help to support families, including those in the middle income. They will get significant help from the government through the household package, through the GST vouchers and the enhanced assurance package. It's, when you add it all together, uh, there is a considerable amount of help, including for their utility bills. The question is, what happens beyond this year or next year when carbon prices were to rise, as you say? We understand those concerns too. In fact, the rise in carbon prices, as I explained in the budget, will filter down to electricity price, but not by a very much amount. I mean, it's it, we, we anticipated that. But when that time happens, we will look at additional utility vouchers to help households cope with the increase in their utility bills due to the rise in carbon tax.